shale field was discovered by the Iraq Petroleum Company in the early 1950s. The metal field is located west of Basra. It's about 80 kilometers long, 20 kilometers wide. In terms of what is below the ground, Ramela is relatively simple. But the equipment was very old, um, some of it from the old Iraq petroleum days. But it needed fixing, it needed organization, and we needed to bring in some modern equipment, modern technologies, modern practices. Before the international, there's no program for the, uh, training the people. There is no program for repairing. Nothing there, just on production and that's it. So it was very difficult, you know. So there are shortage in the transportation and equipment. Uh, also, the, the most important is the, the suitable materials to be fitted with the, the needed that we need at the time. Thirty-five international oil companies from China, Korea, Russia, the US and beyond gathering in the capital, there to claim 20 BP brings a huge amount of know-how in how to develop large oil fields, everything from technology in, in the areas of 3D seismic to high-angle wells to highly complex processing facilities and advanced and enhanced oil recovery technology. Most of the products and equipment in oil and gas industry can be manufactured in China, like drilling rigs, and workover rigs, pumps, pipelines, and other equipment. Today in Iraq, in Rumela, we have service provided by CMPC contractors. The business covered, you know, for drilling, for seismic, for general engineer, pipeline, and engineering construction. So those early days was about how we worked together. There were some fumbles along the way, but actually how do you make a joint team work? And that's a joint team of Iraq who provides the majority of the, uh, the workers and the management of this field with the skills from uh, BP and with the skills from PetroChina. We are three cultures and working together. But something I'm talking about the operation in, in Romero. There's 180 degree we are changing. Our people, they are changing in the perfect way to, to operate the Romania. Three cultures different than each other. And we, at the beginning, yes, challenge, because at the beginning, we, we don't understand your culture, and you don't understand my culture. Respecting other nations is the first thing you need to be asked, otherwise you cannot continue. We are working together, not separate. The Chinese or BP or Iraqi people, we are in the same environment, in the same place. Therefore, the result of three cultures, this is Romela culture. The Romela way exists of five different values. Respect, safety, one team, determination, personal ownership. The Romela way is absolutely critical in bringing three different cultures together. It gives us a single way of operating, a single way of thinking, a common one-team approach. modern technology being placed in the control rooms at the different degassing stations. We have a modern control of work system that's computerized with uh, proper risk assessments being done before any work is carried out. And to operate these new modern systems, a great deal of training is taking place in Rumela. People have been through hundreds of thousands of training hours, both internationally and inside Iraq and people are starting now to understand how to use this technology. I have the people now, they're working in a very high safety uh, rules and they respected that. They take care of themselves. 
Well, the next stage of Romola is the Enhanced Redevelopment Plan, something we've submitted, something that has been uh, approved in terms of the technical side of it. Uh, we need to approve the commercial side of it. It's going to take many, many years, but you can see a potential where the production can increase significantly. But for, to do that, we need to build roads, we need to build new degassing stations, many, many more wells. أنا أزور الحقيقة الرومية بين فترة وأخرى ويسرني جدا أشوف التغيير الكبير سواء في حجم المنشآت أو في الاهتمام بالتشجير والاهتمام بالبيئة وأيضا يسرني جدا أنه في كل زيارة أطلع على تفاصيل مهمة عن زيادة الإنتاج وعن التقنيات الجديدة اللي تستخدمها بيبي والحقيقة هو هذا الغاية من التعاقد إنه إحنا نريد ننقل التكنولوجيا وننقل خبرات شركات كبيرة مثل بيبي إلى العراق إحنا الآن عندنا تحدي السنة القادمة هدفنا هو أن نتجاوز الأربعة مليون برميل باليوم السنة القادمة وهذا حلم شخصي بالنسبة لي إنه إنتاج العراق يتجاوز الأربعة مليون وهذا أعتقد نجاح كبير ينحسب لنا وللجميع إن شاء الله